is up, my boners? This is Mr. I Try Hard here, the nasty is yeah, that's right, vaginas, commentator and all the motherfucking YouTube. How you guys been doing? I've been doing motherfucking fantastic, and today we have a gameplay of Go Confirm on the map Fallen for you guys. Hope you enjoy this gameplay. Now, this is part three of my mini-series, I guess it's going to be like a four-part series, called the, to the Top 10 Greatest YouTube Moments in All of My Career. And of course, this is part three. If you guys missed part one and two, they're going to be linked somewhere on the on the screen for you guys to go watch. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this series. I do. And if you guys like it, please make sure to hit the jizz of my motherfucking pants button, because you know what? I like the jizz. <laughs> Anyways, man, so we uh, covered points 1 through to 5. We got 10 points to cover, and we're moving on to number 6 today. And number 6 is the Black Ops release. Now, let me tell you why this one's so important to me, because it was not important. I guess more memorable, because I guess in like retrospect, it really wasn't that important to me, but I took it so seriously. I actually took a week off. Like I didn't have any, like, you know, plugs or like I didn't know anybody who who can get me the game early black ops at that time but what what I did was I actually took a week off I went to the midnight release I got the game got back home played it for like two hours and then I made three videos in like three hours I worked my ass off all right now I guess that's the only lesson I guess I probably learned over there that like uh, not over there but back then was that if you really want to like you know grow a channel and, and, and if you're really trying to learn and, and, and get something going here on YouTube you really gotta work your ass off and I worked my fucking butt off man I was doing tips and tricks videos back then and uh, I made three videos called I think first look first glance black ops tips and tricks stuff like that and all those videos uh, got about a hundred thousand views each that was that is huge for my channel size and still huge for my channel size now it was even bigger for my channel size back then and I had worked so hard man it was like 3 a.m. I was uploading videos man I, I went to the midnight release wearing a black ops t-shirt that I bought off the internet I was working so hard and I guess it paid off man it's, it's, it's not like if my channel blew up back then but I, I mean it still did something right like I d though like any video getting a hundred thousand views for me back then I, I, I I think for most of this community, any video hitting 100k views is really, really strong. And I guess that was my first key, uh, first look at like a uh, good, successful video, and that was really, really fun for me. And I really took it passionately, and I really, really took it seriously. So that was number six. Number seven. Number seven is something you guys are gonna like. No, number seven is my first nasty commentary. Now, if you guys have been with, with me for a long time, you guys know that I have not been doing these like nasty commentaries since the beginning, right? Like, it's not like if I found this whole YouTube persona where I was like, Hello, my name is Mr. I Try Her Vaginas! <laughs> it, I, I wasn't like this, you know, back then. But, you know, I was kind of more serious and, and whatnot. But I started my first uh, nasty commentary back uh, probably about almost uh, six months ago or something. That's when my channel really started blowing up. When I found, oh, here, here's like a pro tip for all you guys starting out YouTube and you're like, you know, you're really not sure how well you're doing your commentaries and whatnot. Your first 50 or 60 or 70 commentaries, are you just getting used to talking into the mic, right? Yeah, the first one's really, really awkward because you're really not, and like, it's, it's kind of weird talking in front of a, com uh, of a fucking computer. It still is for me every now and again, but. Uh, your first 50 or 60, you, you kind of learn and you kind of like develop the actual person of who you are on YouTube, and that's what I did. And it was really, really random. I think it was during an FNG podcast. I don't know who it was. Maybe it was K pop or something. We were talking and, and we talked about, I don't know, having sex with like animals or something as like of a joke. And I decided to just roll with it and make a video out of it and make a like quote unquote tutorial video on how to fuck a giraffe. I can't find the video anymore, which really sucks. I really like you guys to listen to it because it was funny as fuck. I was just talking about how you could hang from the giraffe's tail and like swing from it, like from its behind and just like fucking go ham at this giraffe. It was fucked up, dude. The answers were stupid. And for some reason, my subscribers, man, you guys are all like, you guys all went crazy for it. And I just did, I did, decided to roll with it. I was like, all right, let's just fucking do it. And I decided to become nasty. And then all of a sudden, people in the comment section were saying how I was the nastiest in all of YouTube. So like, all right, this is perfect. I'll, you know, I'm not like the... <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not like, you know, the most viewed person on YouTube. I'm not like the most whatever, but I am the fucking nastiest. So let's just fucking like use that as a fucking reference. And you guys name me the nastiest. So I was like, whatever, I'll roll with it. So I decided to become the nastiest. And it just kind of flowed from there, man. Because ever since then, like my views skyrocketed. I tweeted about two weeks ago about how we hit 400,000 uh, monthly views on my channel. And just now I just looked and we are like creeping up on 500,000. That's like the fuck is wrong with you guys man you guys are all over the place watching my videos like sometimes I'll upload a video and it's like oh it's not getting all like that many views from my channel anymore and then I'll, I'll go back to it like a week later it's like boom the chat the fucking video like exploded it's like wow this is crazy and I guess it all has to do with that point number seven man my first nasty commentary you guys like that shit and for some reason man it's crazy I'm just fucking bringing nasty back I'm bringing nasty back yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna sing, I'm not gonna fucking make you guys suffer through that shit, but that's point number seven. Let's find a point number eight, because that one is kind of a long one, we got like two and a half, three minutes to do this one. This one is just called, I, I just titled it, First Help K-Pop. Now, every channel out there who grows, every channel who is like a respectable size, has gotten help at some point in their life. Like, nobody just does this randomly or, no, like, no, it's really hard to grow by yourself. I mean, some do, that's great, but everybody, for the most part, gets, you know, a bit of help every now and again, and help is not something that I'll ever ask for. So, pro tip, you guys out there who want, like, a deal calm with them, with, like, somebody, or want to, like, you know, cooperate with another YouTuber or whatever, the best way to do that, for the most part, is not to ask, right? And that's what I did. I was just being friends, man. And you know what? I was friends with a lot of people in this YouTube community. Thus, like, uh, I mean, including K-pop. And Kelly, you know, Kelly and I just, I don't know why, we just kind of, like, clicked. And, uh, oh, I want to make this clear. Before you guys, like, because I'm going to go ahead and, like, you know, tell you how amazing I think Kelly is. I am not dating Kelly, all right? Kelly is dating white boy, Alex. You guys should know this by now. And, uh, you know, I'm not, like, interested that way in Kelly. I just respect her as a person, and she is, like, one of my best friends in, like, all the world. Like, it, she's just really important to me that way, all right? Just trying to make that clear. Kelly just, out of the blue one day, like, we were just talking, and I was kind of down, and I had just started doing, like, you know, my first nasty commentary, and I was kind of feeling sh shitty that day. She just came up to me, like, on Skype, and she was like, yo, you know what, let's do something together. Let's let's make videos together. Let's let's try to something. And you know what, like, for her to do that to me, for me, is, is something really, really special, because she had nothing to gain, right? Like, she could, her channel was huge. She had, like, 120,000 subs back then, and, like, right now, she's, like, creeping up on, like, fucking, I don't even know how many subs. Uh, it's just, it's ridiculous, her channel and how fast that's growing. And, uh, you know, she had nothing to gain from me. Like, I had, I had no subscribers, I was a nobody, I was no one, I was just a good friend of hers, and she offered that lending hand, and sometimes that's something I am guilty of not doing enough. Like, I try to help out every now and again, and I try to help out my friends, but sometimes, you know, just to give out that, like, free hand is something that a lot of people have problems doing, and she did not do that. She just came up and straight and was like, you know what, let's... Let's do something. Let's make videos. And, you know, we started from then. We started doing the Would You Rather series and then rolled in the Vagina Chronicles. And she just started my channel, man. I owe my channel to Kelly. Like, it's really, really that clear. Like, I wouldn't be shit if K-pop wasn't there. And that is probably the most important event if I were to have one important event right now out, out of these ten events that uh, I'm going to name you guys in this four-part series. That's the most important one, I think. <laughs> That's a little uh, nostalgic. I'm gonna go cry in a corner. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, Mr. I try hard. I like vaginas, asses. I love at you, fucking pussies, man. Show me asses. I love you. Bye, bye, and bye.